I got these two TP-Link Deco AC 1200M4 Wi-Fi mesh for free from PLDT for upgrading my plan to them. This is a dual-band Wi-Fi mesh, which means it can transmit both 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi signal. It can cover up to 2,000 square feet, which is about 185 square meters. If you don't know what a Wi-Fi mesh is, think of it as another router which is set up as a Wi-Fi extender or repeater, but instead of just one, you can have multiple units. You'll have the mothership, which is the one connected to your source connection, and have multiple nodes connected to that mothership. Then these multiple mesh nodes form an interconnected mesh network, each transmitting a strong Wi-Fi signal, and the network is also smart enough to know which node is nearest to you, and it will redirect your connection to that node with the strongest signal relative to your location. So, by placing these Wi-Fi mesh strategically to your house, you'll surely have a strong Wi-Fi signal everywhere. Okay. Let's open this up. We have an egg tray type of packaging here. Let's open this small box here. It is the power brick. We have the usual router power brick here with a round type plug. We also have the multilingual user manual here. There's not much information from this manual other than the meaning of the different colors and state of the LED light of the mesh. No instructions here on how to set up the mesh. That information is in the app though, I'll be showing how to install that later. We also have a free RJ45 cable here. It is nicer than the usual free RJ45 from the routers and such, and also looks a lot longer. And we have the mesh itself here. Let's take it out. We have a shiny subtle TP-Link logo here in the front. At the top we have the LED light indicator on a TP-Link logo shape. At the bottom we have some vents and the power source port. We also have some stickers here. You will need to take note of the SSID indicated here on the right sticker. We will need that later. At the back we have two LAN ports. I believe LAN 1 is for the source connection, while LAN 2 can be used to have a wired connection with the mesh. Alright. That's it for the unboxing, let's now set up our mothership mesh. You can select any of the mesh to be the main mesh. Let's plug in, in the power source here at the bottom of the mesh. Again, take note of the SSID indicated in the sticker here. That's deco underscore 0 BB0 for this one. We are going to connect to that in the setup. I already have a LAN cable here. The other end of this LAN cable is connected to one of the LAN port of my Converge router. We are going to connect this to the LAN port number 1, which is the input source of the Wi-Fi connection. OK. Now let's plug in the power brick to the power outlet. We have a yellow LED light now, which means it is starting up. I am flashing the LED state and color meanings in the screen now. You can pause if you want to review. While waiting for the mesh to start up, you can go to your phone now, open your Play Store for Android, or App Store from iOS, and search for TP-Link Deco app and install it. After installing, we can open the Deco app. Just accept the policy and terms. At first usage, you will be prompted to log in. If you have a TP-Link account, you can go ahead and log into that account. Otherwise, you will need to tap on the sign up then create your own account using a valid email address. This will require you to open your email to verify your account. Once verified, you're now ready to log in. OK. We're in. Now tap let's begin. Let's choose our deco mesh model, which is M4. Tap on that model. Since we have already a stable internet connection, and have already plugged in the LAN cable to the mesh, and have already turned on our mesh, just click the next button for the following four pages, up to the page indicating, if the LED of the mesh, is a pulsing blue. OK. We already have a pulsing blue from the mesh, so let's tap on the yellow button here for Deco LED is pulsing blue. Let's allow some access rights, while using the app. Alright. Here's the temporary Wi-Fi network of the mesh, indicated in the sticker at the bottom. Let's connect to that. Found it. We are now connected. Now it's time to select the location of the mesh. You can select any of this, or create a new one through custom option. I will select office for now. It's reconnecting again. I suggest leaving the connection type to dynamic, and for IPTV, it's up to you if you want to enable it. I don't use IPTV or VLAN so I'll leave it off. Let's tap the next button. Now it's time to create the SSID and password of your mesh network. Password requires 12 characters. Let's tap next. OK. It's done. As you can see, the LED light of the mesh has turned from blue to white now, indicating that it is now all set up and ready to receive connections. Let's tap the connect button to open the phone's Wi-Fi settings. Let's now find the SSID we set up. That's Ruby Girl's room. Enter the password we've set. Then connect. There we go. We are now connected. Echo is finishing up.
And we're done setting up our mothership mesh. As you can see here, let's open the Wi-Fi settings again. We are now connected to the Ribby girls room. Let's now do a speed test to check if our connection is good. There you go. We have a good and fast internet speed. Going back to the Deco app, you will be able to see here the device is connected to your mesh. Okay. Let's now set up a mesh node. Alright. So this is our main mesh, as you can see it has a white LED now. Now let's set up our first node. Let's plug it into the power source. Since this is just a node, we don't need to plug in a LAN cable or any connection source here anymore. It will just be getting its connection from the mothership, or he main mesh. Let's now plug in the power brick to the power outlet. Okay. We now have a yellow LED light here, indicating that it is starting up. Now let me get my cell phone to set up the node using the Deco app. Let's open the Deco app. We are currently at the Ribby Girls Room network now, so let's click the plus icon from the top right corner beside the Ribby Girls Room name. Now let's find the model of our now, which is also the Deco M4. Let's tap on the M4R model. Now let's select the proper setup that you're going to do. We have one floor, two floors and three floors options here. I'll choose two floors since that's what my actual setup will be. Then tap the next button. As you can see, we now have a pulsing blue LED light from our node mesh. So let's tap the Deco's LED is pulsing blue button here on the phone. Looking for Deco. Found it. Let's select the location name for the node. I'll choose bedroom for now. We can always change that later. Optimizing network. And we're done. Let's tap I'm done for now button since I have only two mesh units here. If you have more units, just repeat the process for setting up a node for as many nodes as you want. That's it. When we tap on the internet icon here at the top center, we will see all the mesh information. We have two meshes here. The main deco is named the office, while the node that we just set up is named bedroom. Alright. We have a white LED for the node mesh now. Again, this is the main deco mesh. As you can see it is connected to the converge LAN cable. Then this is the node. It's useless to test this beside the main deco. So let's unplug this node and I will take it downstairs to test it there. Okay. We are now two floors below the main deco mesh which is located in the rooftop right above us. Maybe around 7 to 8 meters above. Let's plug in the node deco mesh now. Initially it will be a yellow LED indicating that it is starting up. After around 1 minute, it will turn into a blinking red light, indicating that it is currently disconnected. You can also see from the deco app from your phone that the node is disconnected. You can tap on it and do a refresh from time to time. At about 50 seconds, the mesh LED will become a solid white light, indicating that it is now connected to the mothership deco mesh. You can also see from the deco app from the phone that the node mesh now active. Time for the obligatory speed test now. As you can see here, we are still connected to the Ribby girls room. Let's open the speed test. Take note that we are connected to the converge router now. A good connection despite being two floors away from the main deco mesh. Now I will switch the connection of the main deco mesh from Converge to my PLDT router, without changing any settings and configurations from the deco mesh. Let's see if the network will still work. It is set up as a dynamic IP, so it should work. The node mesh is still a white LED, so let's proceed with the speed test. There you go. As you can see, we are now in the PLDT network. It's not Converge anymore. We've proven that the dynamic IP setup of the Deco mesh works flawlessly. Once you've set it up, it's just plug and play to any network provider you have. A really nice feature. From the Deco app, if you want to view the connected devices, you can tap on the home network. While tapping on the internet icon will show the status of the Deco mesh. To test the limit of the node mesh range, I am now in our secondary comfort room which is located literally outside our house. It is only one floor down from the main deco mesh, but it is about 12 meters away, and there are three solid brick walls separating this node mesh from its main deco mesh. Let's begin the speed test. Let's first connect directly to the PLDT router, which is nearer at about 8 meters away, on the same floor, and only two brick walls in between. Okay. The speed is about 40% of the normal speed. Now let's switch to the deco mesh connection. Let's connect to Ribby Girl's room. There we go. Now let's open the Deco app to make sure that we are connected to the node mesh, and not from the main Deco mesh. There we go. 
The bedroom is the node mesh, and the ROG Phone 5 is there, which is the phone I'm using. Let's do the speed test now. Well, it's not that good. It's bad actually. Due to the 12 meters distance, on a floor above, and most probably due to the interference of three solid brick walls in between, the speed is just below 20% of the actual internet speed of the PLDT. So I guess this is the limit on how far the mesh should be from its mothership. You can't go farther from here. Overall, the TP-Link Deco AC1200M4 Wi-Fi mesh is an awesome device. The dynamic IP setup works flawlessly, and with a dual band for 2.4 and 5 GHz connection, it is a versatile Wi-Fi mesh device. It is really easy to set up, and the app companion is complete and very useful. I have been looking online on its price, and it's one of the cheapest reliable mesh out there. The Wi-Fi range indicated in the box of 2000 square feet might be far from the actual range it can provide. As tested, the speed becomes 20% of the actual speed, when you have three walls in between the mesh units. But it is on the same speed as the source router, even with two floors away from the main deco mesh. For me, that's good enough. I might not be the authority to recommend this device since this is actually my first mesh device, but as a beginner on mesh, you will probably like the TP-Link Deco AC 1200M4 Wi-Fi mesh. It works reliably and does what it needs to do. It gets the job done. Alright. That's it for this video. I hope these helps on deciding if you'll buy this mesh or not, and also shows you how easy it is to set them up. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Noba Air.